the reptile barn. It is feeding day here, so uh, I figured I'd just show everybody how we do it. I know some of you, you know, have large collections and you do this all the time, but others of you might only have one or two snakes or no snakes. Uh, and so feeding day just means get out a rat and give it to your snake. But uh, when you have a collection, it's a little bit different. So I figured I'd show you how we do it and keep track of everybody, make sure everybody gets fed uh, the right size, the right amount, whatever you want to call it. So uh, the first thing I guess I'll show you. I go through every single animal and if I check their feed card, which of these things sticking out in the front as you can see, and if it's an animal that eats weekly, I just put their card to the side like this. Normally they're over here on the side, but uh, if they're going to eat, I put it in the middle. So you can see almost everybody has their feed card out. Um, over here with the big girls, some of them are, are eating every two weeks, which is why some of them you don't see card out still over here on the side. But most of them are going to eat today. Then over here on the babies, only a couple rows up top are eating today. Those are the oldest babies. The youngest babies are eating every five days, and they just ate two days ago. So the only snakes really that I won't be feeding today are these youngest babies because they just barely ate. We'll feed little Blue. See if we can get him on film. Uh, I don't think he's out yet. He's still, it's early in the morning right now so uh, he's kind of a, uh, he likes to sleep in. And we'll feed the, the Dominican Reds. And uh, yeah, so let's pull out some rats. <laughs> hours I'll go in the water will be fairly cold but the rats will be completely thawed through I kind of feel in their bellies to make sure everything's completely soft and thawed out and then I replace the water with new hot water so that the, the rodents really warm up because the snakes like them a lot better and then we feed we'll walk you through that part as well so um, I have a few snakes on live I will not be showing that on camera but uh, it's really simple you just put the rodent in there and watch that's it. Um, our rule of thumb is if the rodent, mouse or rat is old enough to have its eyes open at all, you cannot leave it unattended. That, that's just our rule.
have it. That's the feeding day. It's been a long feeding day, but it went really well. Got some girls back on feed that hadn't eaten in a while, so that was exciting. Uh, we had some you know, refuse, and that's totally fine. It happens. Uh, again, some of them really do do better at night. Uh, and it's you know, it's been the morning and midday here, so it's just the way it goes. Uh, oftentimes, if I have some really not doing well, and it's, I've been feeding during the day, I'll just go in at night and try again. So we'll see. Uh, but yeah, it's been overall really good. Uh, hopefully, uh, I don't you know come in tomorrow and see any not swallowed. It happens occasionally, but generally, if they strike, they're gonna eat it. So yeah. That is how our feeding day goes. Um, hope you liked it. Let me know uh, what you think, things you were seeing. Uh, if you have any suggestions for improvements, always looking to improve uh, all the things we do here. So never, never hesitate to reach out. And until next time, we are the Reptile Barn.